Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 4th, 2023. Well, why everyone in the country seems to be experiencing spring, right here in my little neck of the woods in central Nebraska, we've got a winter storm warning coming in for today. So hopefully you guys are having a better day than I um, expect to see with really high wind here today that actually could take out uh, power, um, the power grid because it's gonna blow so hard. Now, having said that, Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today and see if, well, the volatility of the market will be about as wild as the weather is here in Nebraska. So let's settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Taking a look at these charts, well, we've had a pretty good run here in the Dow. Boy, they really came in yesterday, surging to the upside, having absolutely no concern about the ramifications of the higher energy costs, um, how that will impact the consumer if that continues, and how it will also inf um, um, impact the inflation rate on our next reading if those numbers continue to rise. But that being said, we continue to squeeze higher here this morning in the pre-market. Dow futures are pushing on higher, trying to press through this resistance. And it looks like we're going to push right up in here into kind of this little double whammy resistance area of that little bit of a downtrend and uh, price resistance in the chart. So we're still pressing up there. Now, obviously, yesterday we had a very substantial whips. I'm going to go to a 15 minute chart. We were up 350 points and then, man, we dropped 150. 50 really quick in the market before we just slowly ground to the upside and that grind is continuing here this morning as we continue to push on up so perhaps Goldman Sachs was correct that the um, institutional CTA computers were um, caught flat-footed overly short and they had to press into the market here, um, continuing to uh, push the short squeeze higher and higher um, in these charts. So watch these resistance levels. Now, if the bulls continue to find inspiration, once again, I'm gonna suggest this um, area right in here, right up along that downtrend is where we're gonna wanna watch for that potential if those bears are going to come in, that'll be the place that we'll have to watch for them. Of course, if we push through that, then the next level is going to be up here, breaking through that downtrend. So watch that closely. A lot of pressure here in the market. And if those bears were to find inspiration up in this area someplace, well, then I'm looking at probably a support level, maybe down in here across these tops and these lows. If we were to press back, we might press back into there. Now, keeping in mind that we were up 350 points yesterday, that's a pretty big point drop if that were to occur. And then if we take a look um, um, volume-wise, our volume-wise uh, did perk up um, yesterday. So I think that is a little bit of, a, uh, of an improvement, maybe showing a little bit more energy into that buy side that we saw all last week. And then if we take a look at our SPY here, SPY also pressing to the upside um, and trying to spike on out here today, um, we saw a little bit of concern that had this going a little bit slower yesterday, just simply because of those energy prices. And we saw um, uh, tech wa um, was reacting negatively to those energy prices yesterday. But boy, they're throwing off that concern here today and really trying to press and join the party here for this buy side squeeze to the upside. So looking through here, you can see we're breaking this resistance level 
um, in the chart at the close yesterday and pushing up through. So now I'm going to adjust this level up into here. This will be our next upside level that we have to worry about here in the charts. You'll notice we're catching these tops and these bottoms across here um, in that chart. So continuing to squeeze to the upside as we continue to stretch this overbought condition pretty extreme um, in the chart. So once again, there's that bullish upside resistance in the chart. And if the bears find inspiration, I would look for a pullback into these support levels down in here and just realize that's a fairly substantial pullback in the chart. Now I've got to say if we look at the technicals here, um, certainly very bullish technicals and we can see that our shorter term moving averages are trying to turn up um, in that chart on the SPY. So perhaps this is just um, none of these issues out here with weak PMI and weak ISM and weak construction spending and um, jobs numbers staying way too hot for the Fed and maybe none of that matters anymore. I don't know, but we'll want to watch those areas closely just in case it does suddenly decide to matter. And then if we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ extremely bullish and we are the most overextended here in um, um, the QQQ. As a matter of fact, there's been a lot of conversation out there from uh, the analysts that this is way overdone uh, to the upside, that um, earnings are unlikely to support these kind of prices here. But we'll see. Um, as we continue to press, there seems to be no desire to stop buying here. And you can see we're surging up this morning, possibly breaking that resistance here in the chart this morning. So if this were as resistance were to break, then I would suggest the next level up is right up in here. So watch that closely. And if those bears were to find inspiration today, well, there really isn't a whole lot of support down in this area. As you can see, we're pressing these levels right here. So the next level of supports down here, that would be a pretty substantial pullback. And keep in mind that our trend is out here. We're really stretching away from that trend. And oftentimes that creates these kind of protracted pullbacks that can occur. So I would be watching for any kind of profit taking or pull back in the market. Um, I'd be watching for that because the potential of that beginning at any time seems to be growing pretty rapidly here as we stretch to the upside. And then if we take a look at our IWM, even IWM got involved yesterday, um, had a little bit of uh, downside um, um, whipsaw um, with the with the Dow yesterday, but ended up squeezing right back up here into the close and ended up just eking out, just barely eking out a, uh, a win for yesterday. And you can see they're pushing into that this morning. So looking at that chart, I'm going to look um, in this area right in here for the next resistance level in the chart. Notice we're going to pick up some of these points along here. We're going to hit that downtrend here in the chart and we'll see if IWM has enough potential energy to push through. One thing you'll want to consider in IWM, um, we still made a lower low and we have yet to make that higher high here in the chart. So we broke this low in IWM and we're pressing back into that downtrend. This would be the most bearish of the indexes in the market. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX yesterday fluctuated a little bit as we saw that whipsaw um, in the market. But as you can see, still no fear. The banking situation, and none of the, None of the economic numbers seem to matter anymore to the market. It's just hurry up and buy something. And um, as you can see, no fear here in the market. And we're pressing down here against a support level. With this gap up this morning, it's possible we could break down through that level here if that fear continues to diminish in the market. So watch that closely. Then if we take a look at our uh, T2122, well, T2122, 
gives us probably that best opportunity that we could see some kind of pullback here in the market as long as they don't continue to press this short squeeze to the upside. And I think there's a pretty good chance they're going to continue to press this short squeeze. They are really having a good time squeezing out any short traders here in the market. So watch that closely as um, um, we press up here in the pre-market. But I would watch as we push this back up here, watch very carefully. We're reaching kind of that extreme over overbought condition and we could see some profit takers come in at any time and then keeping in mind that's a big downside opportunity if those sellers were to come in and come back to price support levels it could be big point moves so i would be watchful for that and then our t2108 t2108 improved yesterday um, as you can see pressing up here in the 38 39 area percent of stocks holding above their 40-day moving average and you can see right in here there's a little bit of price resistance in that chart so we'll need to see if we can press on through and my guess is with the gap up open that we're they're working on here this morning we could see that press through that area and if we do then the next level up here would be right around that 45 46 area in the chart where we could um, press up into there to find that next level of resistance. Our T2107, well, it is also pressing up into some price resistance. It improved yesterday up about 45% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. That's showing a nice improvement. And if we can continue to press, that next level up here would be right around 50% of the stocks above their um, 40 day or 200 day moving average so i would watch for that next level up here if we can continue to press to the upside if we take a look at our t2101 t2101 continues to stretch showing us that momentum move to the upside on this short squeeze but you will want to notice that we're kind of running into a downtrend resistance here on that and that possibility that we may be reaching a bit of that overextended condition here in that short term and i'd look for that possibility we could see that whipsaw we could see that profit taking um, um, situation pick up here in the market and because of that extension that we're in right now just be prepared for the for the potential that if it begins we can see a fairly big point move in the pullback um, on the market let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today now our economic calendar we've got a couple reports to be paying attention to here today as you know um, we've got factory orders coming out here today so watch that closely obviously our uh, manufacturing and things have been pretty ugly so we'll want to keep a close eye on these these factory numbers i'll pull this up really quick so you guys can see can see the consensus um, the prior number was a negative 1.6 and the consensus is looking for a negative 0.4 so that would be an improvement in those numbers but continuing to see the weakness of the pmi and ism you might want to watch carefully for the possibility that number might miss. And then we've got the job openings report. Job openings is suggesting, uh, the consensus is suggesting that will continue to decline slightly. The openings will continue to decline slightly, but still it is very, very imbalanced for the Fed and um, likely going to keep the Fed um, aggressive um, if those numbers continue to come in hot. Then keeping in mind, we've got a Fed speaker here later on in the afternoon after the bell, so probably not going to have uh, any major impact until possibly Wednesday morning when we're going to have ADP, International Trade, ISM Services, and then that Petroleum Status Report, which could be interesting considering the sudden rise here in oil prices. So watch that carefully. Then um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, I made a mistake yesterday, guys. Um, um, I went through on Sunday and I went through and I wrote out all of the notables um, so it would save me a little bit of time for the morning blog um, for the whole week. And because there were no notables for yesterday, 
I went down my list and I included yesterday's notables uh, or today's notables in yesterday's blog. So once again, guys, you're going to see the same ones. Um, AYI will be reporting today. We're going to hear from LNN. We're going to hear from MSM. We're going to hear, oh, nice pop on that one here this morning, breaking and down trend. We're going to hear from RGP here this morning um, or today and SGH. Um, also reporting today. Now, obviously, these are not those name notables that really move the market, and which is normal. We're not going to see too many of those as we kind of slide into the second quarter um, earnings season, which will begin on the 13th of April with uh, BlackRock. Let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, um, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you'd please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon. When it pops up, you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you could also do me that favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave that brief comment. I know it gets monotonous to do that every single day, but I do truly appreciate the support of the effort that it takes to put these videos out every day. So thank you so much. And if you find these videos to be useful, um, uh, please feel free to share them out on your social media feed. I do truly, truly appreciate that. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you've got to do your own due diligence and I highly recommend that you never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Make sure you understand the risks of every trade. Make sure it fits your personal trade criteria before you make a move like that into a position. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks out here. Take a look at CRWD. I continue to mention CRWD. This is just one of those wonderful patterns. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. As you can see, we um, after a big sell-off, we kind of round our moving averages um, out of these bottoms. Price comes above the 50. Notice that 50 starts to round and turn, and then we make that move and we just continue pressing, and the ultimate goal is up here to the 200-day moving average. And you can see we're stretching out here right now as we continue to move up in that chart. Now, my original alerts on this chart was all the way down here, and I'm continuing to move up, and I've been mentioning mentioning CRWD in this pattern. The reason I'm spending a little bit of time on this, guys, is rounded bottom breakouts. If this is going to be a bullish market, look for those stocks that have been oversold and we're starting to see that pattern where those averages and prices are starting to round back to the top side. Look for those opportunities particularly on those very sold condi oversold conditions where our 50-day is substantially, substantially below the 200. That gives you that nice um, space here for that upside move in those charts. So watch carefully for those round and bottom breakouts. If this is the turn in the market and everything's bullish from here, then watch that closely. Now let's take a look at a few other things. Take a look at um, Spotify here. Spotify doing really nice. As you guys know, I've had this alert on here. I've talked about this chart. Nice little upside trend going in here and we're continuing to push to the upside looking very, very good on Spotify. Um, I'm going to have to mention um, these oil stocks in here. Um, XLE, all of these stocks um, made this radical move, breaking the downtrend here in these charts. So now watch for a little consolidation or a little resting pullback in here. If we can consolidate against some resistance levels or if we pull back to find some support levels, a lot of these oil stocks could be setting up for more upside. And typically gas prices kind of peak around Memorial Day. So we've got a good month or so a potential upside rally in um, some of these oil and energy prices. So watch them closely and 
boy, they're all over the place with the big spike in oil yesterday. Um, also, on the commodity side of things, I got to continue to bring up gold. GLD continuing to hold up. It moved up yesterday um, in this nice little pattern. Now, I will say that I think it's short term. If I were to draw a trend on this and say that's the, that's the trend, I think that's a little steep. Um, uh, trends like that rarely can be sustained very long. So what I would prefer is to see gold just kind of, you know, mark time here, just kind of rest in this pattern, flatten out that that trend, and then look for that upside move to continue here in gold. I can't say that I'm going to get what I want. In fact, I rarely get what I want. But watch that closely here in uh, GLD, continuing to show lots and lots of bullishness. And then if you want that physical gold, I keep bringing up uh, PHYS. Um, PHYS had another really bullish looking pattern in there yesterday, pushing on up. Once again, rather steep on that pattern as we press towards $2,000 an ounce in gold. Um, I do think that's worth keeping an eye on it. Taking a, a look at a uh, wind casinos. Oh, the old wind pushing on up here, um, retesting some highs up here and regaining some support in the chart. We had lost that and look like we were going to falter and move to the downside but right back up here so if that holds this higher low in here i would look for that next upside opportunity in win and you can see that might even be connecting with some trend here so watch that closely on wing casinos you might also want to take a look at some of these stocks coming up out of bottoms pfizer um, i was talking about these rounded bottom breakout patterns pfizer notice we're surging up here toward that 50 day this has still got some work to do but if they were to pop through that 50 and hold up in here then i would look for that rally back up toward that 200 day i saw um, Proctor doing a good job yesterday, moving to the upside. And this is this is a theme that's happening here in the market right now. Dividend payers, kind of old, boring dividend payers are really showing a lot of bullishness here in the market. And let me show you what I'm talking about. We can take a look at stocks like uh, KHC. KHC trying to come up out of this bottom, trying to break that downtrend and hold that higher low in here. I would watch in here, good strong dividend payer. Take a look at AT&T, really stretching here to the upside. Good strong dividend payer. Uh, Verizon stretching to the upside here. Good strong dividend payer. Um, take a look at um, Hershey. Um, Hershey chocolate just moving big time. This is all time highs in Hershey, just really moving to the upside. Old boring companies, um, but those divvy payers are really showing some good signs and, and you can see it in um, like Campbell Soup. You can see it in things like um, Colgate Palm Olive. You can see it um, all over the place, even Walmart in that defensive sector um, area here, those dividend paying defensive sector stocks breaking back above. Look at this stretch to the upside recovery here, breaking back above that resistance in the chart and any resting pullback in here would potentially set up an opportunity so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic tuesday hopefully it's a lot warmer than my tuesday is going to be i want to wish you all of the best in your trading today and i'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning remember we have a short week we've got wednesday and thursday so kind of keep that in mind friday we have off uh, for good friday y'all take care Wish you all the best and see you right back here bright and early on that Wednesday morning.